question 24. Now to simplify an algebraic fraction like this we need to factorize the denominator and to sort of to a degree I've also got to factorize the numerator. So anyway let's start off by factorizing the denominator. So um, to do so I've done that over here as a side working. Um, some of you will be able to just go straight to answer by trial and error. I've got a slightly more long winded way of doing it. So this is what I do. Um, I think of two magic numbers that multiply make the 3 times the minus 12 which is the minus 36 and at the same time these two magic numbers have to add to be the minus 5 so that gives me minus 9 and plus 4 so I then go from a 3 term problem to a 4 term problem by splitting this middle term my minus 5x into minus 9x and plus 4x I could have done it the other way around, I'd get the same final answer, but this is the way I've gone. So now that I've got four terms, I then fully factorise my first two terms. So that's 3x bracket x minus 3 close bracket. And I fully factorise my third and fourth term. So that's plus 4 bracket x minus 3 close bracket. And you'll see that I have a repeated bracket. And then my final answer, my final pair of brackets, comprises the two components which are presently not in a bracket. So that's the 3x plus 4, and also my repeated bracket, which is x minus 3. So that is my fully factorized denominator. Now what I've then done, because I need to be able to cancel um, something in the numerator and the denominator, I've then chosen to take minus 1 out of the numerator. So I've effectively factorized this taking out a minus 1 open bracket x minus 3. Just to double check you see minus 1 times x would be minus x and minus 1 times minus 3 would be my plus 3. Now what I can then do is cancel out these two terms leaving me with a final answer of minus 1 over 3x plus 4. Now, to write this as a single fraction, we've effectively got to do the taking away of these two fractions. And when we're taking away fractions, what do we need? We need a common denominator. And my common denominator is going to be x minus 1 times x plus 1. So what do I need to do to this first term in order to have a denominator of x minus 1, x plus 1? I have to multiply top and bottom by x plus 1. And similarly with the second term, how do I end up with a denominator of x plus 1, x minus 1? I have to choose to multiply top and bottom by x minus 1. So we then multiply out the numerator and multiply out this second numerator. So x times x is x squared, x times plus 1 is plus x. This is x squared minus x, but remember we're taking away both of those two terms. So that's minus x squared, and be careful, it's plus x. Minusing a minus x is plusing an x. So I can then see my numerator, these two x squareds cancel out, leaving me with 2x over x plus 1, x minus 1, which is fine as a final answer. Alternatively, you could note this is a difference between two squares. You could give the, num the denominator as x squared minus 1, but you don't need to. That is a perfectly good final answer for full marks.